everybody, this is Eric Waring. Welcome to NetworkMarketingPro.com. I am here actually helping my brother move into his new house. His new house is actually right over there. Go show him over there. Um, the U-Haul truck's actually behind you, but my mother is the camera person of the day. Say hi, Mom. Hi. <laughs> so anyway, uh, listen, today I want to talk to you about this debate going on, or this discussion at least about MLM 2.0, this conversation about old school and new school, the old school of doing meetings and person to person and hotels and, and you know talking to warm market and this quote unquote new school of people using technology and websites and blogs and cold market techniques and all this different online things and how do the two blend? First of all I will tell you um, there will come a day when the new school can really accelerate things that happen with the old school and blend into this MLM 2.0. There are tools today that make things like the flip cam, the $200 flip cam that she's holding right now that change the game when it comes to communication, when it comes to the ability to talk to people. Um, Ustream to be able to do presentations into somebody's house or webinars and, and uh, the ability to communicate, the ability to recognize, and the ability to provide information and the ability to streamline everything you happen in, in your organization using technology is real. But here's something that new school will never be able to do as effectively as old school. And it's the one of the most fundamental principles of what we do every single day and what makes building an organization and building a network really work and that is the foundation of what we do is we build trust and we transfer belief now technology can help transfer belief but it's not automatically going to build trust building trust comes from relationship building trust comes from time building trust comes from consistency so um, for example, the first day I started Network Marketing Pro, I hadn't built trust yet. Uh, it took time for people to say, you know what, I can send people here and it's a safe place. You know what, they're not going to talk about different opportunities. You know what, he didn't just have a few things that he could provide information about, he's got a lot of different information that he can provide. This is a safe environment, so it took time. Uh, you know, a hundred plus shows, I think, for trust to be established throughout the organization. So. Building trust is always going to be um, kind of a byproduct of personal relationships. You don't build trust with a click of a mouse. You don't build trust by doing one blog post and then expecting the whole world to take notice of you. You're going to have to put out content, good value in, in, the, uh, in the internet world. You're, number two, you're going to have to do it consistently. You're going to have to not just do it for a minute, but do it for a, over a longer period of time. Three, um, you're going to have to really care, and then you're going to have to develop relationships inside of this uh, technology world. This allows the world to get smaller, but our job is to use that technology to make a connection and then build the relationship through conversation, through emails, through chats, through Skype through face to face as much as you possibly can I, I will tell you no matter what technology platform you use when you get face to face it changes the entire relationship it changes the game so is it an interesting exploration this combination of old school and new school the answer is yes it's an interesting exploration and I'm exploring it myself I see a lot of other people doing the same thing I see most people trying to shortcut it most people trying to shake somebody's hand and then sell them something immediately. Uh, most people put up one blog post and expecting the world to just shower down praise on them. Uh, you're going to have to be put out good value, you're going to have to be consistent, and you're going to have to use the technology to build a real relationship with another human being. That's what our business is about, human being to human being to human being. Combining the two can be powerful, but make sure that you understand what it's really going to take for MLM 2.0 to go to the next level. 
So ladies and gentlemen, my wish for you is that you decide to become a network marketing professional, that you decide to go pro. It is a fact that we have a better way. Now let's go tell the world. Ladies and gentlemen, I want you to see my mom. <laughs> <laughs> Say hi, hi mom. Everybody. <laughs> everybody, have a great day. See you later. Bye-bye.